Why, hello there. It's Natasha. Your local crazy cat lady with an affinity for self-love and fashion. And I am very excited about today's video because if you are like me, you are a broad-shouldered lady and maybe you're trying to find ways to style your outfits for broad shoulders. Maybe you're a little bit insecure about them. I know I've been there and you're tired of seeing all of those videos and lists and articles and blog posts telling you all of the things that you're supposed to avoid if you have broad shoulders. I'm going to show you all of the ways that you can wear the things that you're supposed to avoid or not wear if you have broad shoulders so that you can learn to flaunt your beautiful shoulders because there's nothing to be ashamed about. So let's get it started guys, cause I'm excited. When I was younger and I was in high school in my early 20s, I was very insecure about my broad shoulders. Well, let's be real, I was insecure about a lot of things, but especially my broad shoulders. Like, I thought that I'd look more feminine and womanly if my shoulders weren't as broad. And I used to get so upset whenever somebody would point out that I had wide shoulders or, oh, I have a strong back. Oh, I would get so insecure and I'd be like, no, they noticed. <laughs> and of course, I started looking up on the internet how I could make my shoulders look smaller because I was very insecure about them. So, so it was only until like maybe a few years ago that I finally said F it and I started buying blazers and all of these things that I thought I wasn't allowed to wear because of all of the stupid blog posts and articles and videos that I saw pretty much telling me. You can't wear this because if you wear this, everybody's gonna see your broad ass shoulders and who the hell wants to see that? But then I started playing around with silhouettes and seeing what looks good on me. And I'm like, I'm not gonna deprive myself from wearing something that I personally like just because some random person on the internet said that I shouldn't because my shoulders are too broad and broad shoulders are a bad thing. So as I was looking for all of the no-nos for broad shouldered women, <laughs> uh, hold, hold on a second. I'm gonna pull this one up because I was dying. So this is actually one of the first blogs or articles that pops up when you do a Google search for how to dress for broad shoulders. And I was, I was dying of laughter and a fury <laughs> as I read it because I'm like, well, what, what are you supposed to wear? Cause there's not much left on this list and this is the strict no list um these are uh, supposedly the things that um you or me as a broad-shouldered woman cannot wear <clears throat> strapless tops spaghetti straps halter neck shoulder pads off the shoulder square neck lines horizontal lines sleeves <laughs> skinny jeans, tight tops, small waist, and bolero jackets. First of all, sleeves. What? <laughs> so like, like no sleeves at all. Like it doesn't matter, like short sleeve, long sleeve, quarter sleeve, puff sleeves, bell sleeves, like just no. No to sleeves. Like I, my brain, my brain is broken right now. And also tight tops, just in general. I saw that and I was initially gonna do a video like, oh, how I style, you know, my outfits for broad shoulders. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm gonna do a video purposely wearing the things that I should be avoiding as somebody with broad shoulders and making it work for me anyways. That article infuriates me. <laughs> No sleeves. Um, so as you can tell, I'm already 
wearing a big no-no. I am wearing an off-the-shoulder top and horizontal stripes. So, oh my God, the writer of this blog article would be going <gasps> if they were to see my top right now. Oh, well. If you're wondering, well, how do I know if I have broad shoulders or not? An easy way to figure that out is if you stand in front of a full length mirror or maybe you take a picture of yourself from a far distance so you can see your full body length, wear something fitted, so like a fitted top and fitted pants or leggings, and then just take a look at what the widest area of your body is. And another way that you can also do that is just measuring it um, just to cross with a measuring tape. So measuring from one end of your shoulder to the other, your bust, your waist, and your hips, and then you can see which one is the widest. For me, it's my shoulders. So let's start off with strapless tops, which is one of the things you should supposedly be avoiding with broad shoulders. I honestly only have one strapless top because that's just how late in the game I started realizing that I can just wear whatever the hell I want as long as I feel comfortable in it. So I only own this. It's sort of cropped. It's simple. It's just a plain black cropped strapless top. But essentially, the tip that I'm gonna give across all of the different tops or dresses that I'm going to show you is to just balance out your lower half with your upper body. So here's a perfect example, wearing straight leg jeans instead of skinny jeans. These jeans add more width to your legs and lower body. So even though I'm flaunting my broad shoulders with this strapless top, they don't look significantly wider than the rest of my body. You can achieve a similar silhouette with loose trousers. I love the bold Kelly green color of these pants as well, guys. If you look at my body shape, these pants add more volume to my hips and give an illusion of an hourglass figure. And then for a skirt, I chose an A-line maxi skirt so that it adds more volume to my lower body. You could also achieve a similar silhouette with a voluminous or A-line mini or midi skirt as well. The next top that I'm going to show you that you shouldn't be wearing is, ta-da, what I am wearing right now is an off-the-shoulder top. Again, these are supposedly a no-no if you have wide shoulders because it'll draw attention to the width of your shoulders um, because it kind of like breaks up your body line. So that's why you're supposed to avoid them. But guess what? We're going to wear them anyways. I love paper bag pants and jeans because they define my waist and usually add more volume to my hips. So this is a great little casual look. And okay, I know not everybody loves Bermuda shorts, but these are my favorite pair of shorts that I own. Since they're more of a wide leg, they add more volume to my lower body. Plus, how cute is this little cutout detail on it? Like, it's adorable. Then for a more simple look, just pairing the same off the shoulder top with black wide leg pants. Again, I'm still flaunting my shoulders while balancing out the width of my upper body with my lower body. Another item that I shouldn't be wearing, but I wear anyways, is the spaghetti strap. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of simple spaghetti strap outfits. The recurring theme is again adding more volume and width to my lower body so for this first look i'm sporting an all black outfit with some wide leg pants so you saw my paper bag jeans so let me introduce you to my paper bag shorts 
Again, you can see this adds more volume to my hips. This is a cute and simple casual look that's easy to put together and again, balances out broader shoulders. And now for a different look. I'm wearing a cropped spaghetti strap top with very wide leg culottes. These culottes are so wide that they almost look like a skirt, but I love them so much. Again, there's a lot of volume with these pants, so it almost gives me an hourglass figure. And now wearing my absolute favorite jeans from Zara that you will have to pry out of my cold, dead hands. I want to emphasize that not every pair of pants you wear has to be wide. These are straight leg jeans, but they add just enough width to my lower body, plus the ripped details draw attention to my legs. Ooh, and now we have some dresses that I never thought I could wear. I'm not kidding, this dress was hanging in my closet for over a decade. This is a fit and flare style, so it's fitted on my torso and then flares out at the waist, adding more volume to my hips. Here's another similar dress, but more of a casual version. This one doesn't flare out as much, but still has more width and movement as it goes down my body. Another favorite is puff sleeve tops. Oh my God, I was so scared of wearing anything with puff sleeves because again, I thought that it would make my shoulders look five times wider than they already were, and they do but I don't care <laughs> and I love them like I, another crop top surprise but I love these exaggerated puff sleeves and again a lot of blogs and articles will say that wide-shouldered women shouldn't wear these they're a no-no because they're just gonna emphasize your broad shoulders but I'm like maybe I want to emphasize my broad shoulders so let's wear the damn puff sleeve shall we Here's a very princessy look. I paired my puff sleeve top with a pleated midi skirt that adds a lot of movement and volume to my lower body. Very effortlessly chic. And now back to my straight leg jeans. Again, not every pant or jeans you wear has to be wide legged. While my shoulders still look wider than the rest of my body, they don't look as emphasized as they would if I would have paired this top with skinny jeans. You can also play around with lighter colors and patterns as they can add more width to your lower body as well. I'm wearing wide leg high rise pants in a cream color with a plaid pattern. They add more volume to my hips and my legs. And here's a dress version. I always loved puff sleeve dresses, but was too self-conscious to wear them because of my shoulders. I just bought this one a few months ago, guys. There's actually padding on the shoulders to puff up the sleeves, but since this dress cinches at the waist and then widens at my hips, it balances out the added volume on my shoulders. I think the tiered skirt also adds more volume and movement. I, I absolutely love this dress. It makes me feel like a princess. And then the dreaded blazer. Oh my God. I was scared of blazers for so long. I refused to wear them because I didn't think they looked good on me until I started playing around with silhouettes and different fits for pants and skirts and all other types of bottoms. And I'm like, I can wear blazers and I love wearing blazers. I especially love like the boxy kind of like menswear oversized blazers. So I have a couple of those. So I'm gonna show you um, a few, few of my favorite outfits and ways to style them. So this is the exact type of blazer that women with broad shoulders should supposedly avoid. It's a boxy menswear blazer with padded shoulders but I'm pairing it with wide leg pants, so it honestly balances everything out. I love pairing boxy oversized blazers with maxi skirts. Again, this is an A-line skirt, so it widens gradually toward the hem. If you look at the hem of the skirt and compare it to the width of my shoulders, the skirt is actually slightly wider. And then one of my favorite go-to outfits while these straight leg jeans don't add as much volume to my lower body as the last two looks, it still adds more width compared to a pair of skinny jeans. Plus the lighter jean color and satin ankle boots draw more focus to my lower body. 
So yeah, those are some of my favorite ways of styling, you know, the things that I shouldn't be wearing <laughs> as a wide-shouldered woman. But I'm also going to show you a couple of my favorite outfits and items that I still love to wear, even though they kind of emphasize my broad shoulders without, you know, trying to balance out my lower body. Like some of these outfits, you can really tell that, yeah, my shoulders are wide, but I've learned to embrace them and I'm not insecure about them anymore because you know what? Life's too short to not wear something you like just because of some imaginary fashion rules that you read on the internet. Like, yes, I get it. Like, the goal is to make your body look more balanced so you look more like an hourglass, but maybe, like, what if you don't want to look like an hourglass? Wear the Bodycon strapless midi dress if you want to. Don't worry about your shoulders. Or if you want to wear the freaking boxy blazer that emphasizes your broad shoulders, go for it. Like wear what you love as long as you feel confident and comfortable in what you're wearing. That's all that matters. And that's why over the past couple of years, I've started integrating more of these outfits and looks that I thought I wasn't allowed or I wasn't able to wear because of my broad shoulders or because of my long torso or because of my small chest. I just said F it and decided to just wear whatever I wanted and whatever makes me feel good. So I hope this video inspires you to embrace those beautiful broad shoulders. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You don't need to impose limits on your wardrobe. You just need to play around with silhouettes to see what makes you feel more comfortable and confident. You don't need to make your shoulders look smaller. You can still highlight them while still creating an illusion that your upper body and lower body are more in balance or just wear whatever you want. Wear the skinny jeans with the boxy blazer. If you like it and you feel confident in it, who cares what, you know, some blogger or some person on the internet says. You do you and wear whatever makes you feel amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the this video i put out more fashion videos like these every other week and when i'm not posting fashion videos i'm posting self-love videos because i realized that once i started becoming more confident and comfortable in my own skin that led me to have more fun with fashion and embrace my own personal style so again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye, love you.